So our mission today, outside of just cleaning up, we're going to install the spindle cover, this puppy, and then what we need to do is we need to create a template. I guess we're gonna create a cover for the top of the enclosure. Our goal is to sort of sound dead in uh, the machine a little bit because it does get loud in the shop and the last thing I want is for noise to get over onto the neighbor's unit and then we're gonna have a problem because we're gonna be here for maybe another year. All right, and we gotta make nice with people so that we can keep our business running with no issues. So we're gonna make a template uh, to cover the enclosure and sort of help uh, contain the sound a little bit better. And these machines require a lot of air and they require air because they have to operate uh, the automatic tool changer as well as they're constantly blowing air. There's a, there's a small stream of air blowing through the spindle and keeping dust and debris outside of the spindle. So there's a positive air pressure in the spindle that's always pushing things out. And the same thing with this machine. It's always, there's, a, there's always a positive air pressure in the spindle. So it's, it uses a lot of air actually. The air compressor that I have right now is the one that I've been using for about four years already. And uh, the one thing I don't like about it is that it's very loud. And that's the one thing that I noticed about it when I first bought it. It's just, it's just too loud. So we have a few layers here. We have uh, the, the structure of it is a is two by four. But on the outside, we have three quarter inch particle board. And then in between the frame, uh, is a two inch piece of styrofoam and then outside of that is some half inch drywall and then the most important material that sound deadens is going to be our carpet and this carpet lined up all the way inside and it baffles the sound very well uh, we're talking about like uh, before it would hit well you know what let's do a test all right let's turn it on and see how loud it is let's consider this it's already in the box we just have uh, one side of it open so it's going to be actually a, a lot louder if this was outside of the box but I don't want to take it outside of the box that's just too much work so let's just turn it on. that's a lot better and we're in the same position that we were and we're only getting let, let me shut up for a second so you can see the reading so that's about 60 decibels and we were at 87 before that's a huge difference because of this baffle box it's a lot more effective and you can step away over here we're about I would say about 20 feet away. We're at 40. If we go into our office, and this office isn't fully sealed either. The door and then the ceilings aren't sealed off. There's gaps in there. That's not bad. 30 decibels. So. However, I will say that even with the baffle box, um, it's still too loud for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build sort of a closet space off to the side of a wall. And I'm going to put that inside of the closet and hopefully we baffle it enough so that it's not even something that we notice when it turns on. So that's our solution for the sound that's coming for our air compressor. Now this air compressor is going to be the loudest machine in the shop. We also have to take care of the sound that's coming from these two machines. So uh, with this Haas 
as you can see it's semi enclosed semi fully enclosed there's still an opening back here so that's all we have to do is fabricate some panels that will cover the open spaces back here but with the fadal it's uh wide open wide open at the top so that's the point of making uh the cover and i'm gonna make it out of a 3 8 inch uh plexiglass but i have to make a template for it so that's what we're gonna do today but first let's go ahead and put on the spindle cover and we've been putting this off even though it takes uh it's not gonna take much time i just want to go over the top but that's not I think that works pretty well. Doesn't it look a lot better than before with the cover on? Looks a lot better. That's for damn sure. All right, let's get up here and start taking some measurements. Trusty measuring tape. And okay. All right. Here's basically what we're going to design. Our sheet is going to rest on this edge here and it's basically a rectangle, but we have to create a cutout for our cover along this edge. And we'll probably leave about a quarter inch all the way around just to give it a little bit of cushion. Um, but that's the only areas that has to clear. So basically, when we when we put this cover in, we're just gonna slide it in from the front, and it should clear, and it's gonna rest on the edge back there. So all we have to do is just take measurements of a rectangle, and then take some measurements to uh, figure out where this profile is going to be inside that rectangle. So this is 46 inches across. So we're looking at 64 inches. Yeah, I'll say that's about 64 inches. So on our sheet, we're going to write uh, 64 inches. And then uh, we're going to just draw a simple profile of our cutout gonna look like this and it's gonna be biased towards this side okay and then we just got to figure out how far from this this edge goes here how far from this edge goes here uh, we're gonna measure at two points it's because it tapers in a little bit so we're gonna measure it at two points how far from the front of this edge goes from here to the front edge, um, and then we'll do a measure from here to the final edge of the part. We'll also measure this, and we'll measure this. We have all of our dimensions, and uh, let's go ahead and draw it in CAD. That's a, that's a speed drop, boy. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and draw this. Shouldn't take too long. Um, all right, so now that we have the profile, we're gonna machine out a template out of some wafer board to make sure that it's correct. All right, let's go grab our stock, which is gonna be out here. This is the wafer board that we're gonna cut as a template. It's like $9. And our acrylic sheet is about $200, so we want to make sure we get it right before we actually cut into the real deal.
So this is uh, this is an aftermarket collet that I bought, a collet and nut, and uh, it's made for uh, to reduce runout on the wood routers. So there's a lot of runout with the the collets that come with the routers. So I bought these collets that are specifically made for this wood router, and that was a big problem using a very long tool like this, is that there's a lot of runout, and it it one it will destroy your router a lot faster two there's a lot of noise with all that run out and um, three is not very accurate so uh, using a collet like this it reduces all of that precision collet I think I got it for uh, 90 80 90 bucks and it's worth the upgrade if you're using again if you're using a wood router get yourself a precision collet especially if you're using a long tool bit like this <coughs> Here's the template that we just cut. Man, it looks good. I think it's gonna work pretty well for us. Look at this. All that's left to do is uh, to test it to see if it fits. Let's go. Side's flush. It's gonna form all the way around the cover. Ah, this shouldn't lean on it. Same way with this side, except uh, we need a little bit more space right here because it's getting caught up, and that's not sitting flush all the way at the front edge. So we have to change that. We're gonna have to move it. And actually, I think I'm gonna close this gap a little bit further. Too much gap for me but it's looking uh looks like we have a pretty good profile we just have to change a few things about it yeah i'm just going to cover this side with like a piece of hdpe we're going to make this piece out of a 3 8 inch uh, acrylic and we're going to fasten it down at the edges also the back there has a open hole i'm going to cover that as well and in the back, we have a wide open. We gotta cover this up. I think we're gonna make another cover for this side too. Hmm. It's looking good, man. Looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's it for today. 